Hello and welcome to the 2023 NASCAR Lino Cup Series Chambersville 350 at the Super Speedway configuration of the fastest oval in Canada, Chambersville Speedway. Today, these cars will go around this track for 10 laps, this quad oval track to see who will become the victor. And this round will set the round of four, the final playoff four contenders for Lagosville, the final race of the season. And without further ado, let's get to your starting lineup for today's race. Starting on pole today is the number 10 of Eric Amarola, and next to him is the two of Austin Sindrick. Behind them is the 23 of Bubba Wallace and the 43 of Eric Jones. And behind those two is the 99 of Daniel Suarez and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. And back behind them, you have the 5 of Kyle Larson and the 4 of Kevin Harvick. And behind them, you got the 12 of Ryan Blaney and the 6 of Brad Kozlowski. Running out the top 10. Then you got the 24 of William Byron and the 1 of Ross Chastain. And behind those two is the 42 of Ty Dillon and the 33 of Kaz Grala, the only Gen 6 car in the field today. Then you have Corey LaJoy and Chase Elliott behind them. Back behind them is the 17 of Chris Buescher and the 22 of Joey Logano. Then you have the 48 of Alex Bowman and the 19 of Mark Truex Jr. And behind them is the 8 of Kyle Busch rocking the new 3G paint scheme. And behind him is the 20 of Christopher Bell. Then you have the 45 of Tyler Reddick and with his new team and the 47 of Stenhouse making his second start of the year. Then you have the 21 of Harrison Burton and the 34 of Michael McDowell. Then you have the 41 of Ryan Priest in his new car and the 38 of Todd Gilliland in the root beer car. Then you got the 3 of Austin Dillon and the 16 of AJ Allmendinger. And behind them is the 15 of JJ Ailey and the 77 of Josh Balicki. And behind those two is the 91 of Justin Haley and the 87 of Kevin Lacroix. And behind them is the 62 of Noah Gregson and the 50 of Connor Daly. Back and finally is the 44 of Greg Biffle and the 14 of Chase Briscoe. Further ado, let's go green flag racing at Chambersville. The green flag is in the air here at Chambersville and we're ready to set the playoff four. Quickly out to the lead is the number 10 of Eric Amarola. Can the 23 do anything with him? The 10 of Eric Amarola moves down to block the 23. He will lead the first lap and now with a big run comes the 23. The top two single file, three wide behind them. Kyle Larson now coming down to the bottom of the track. Bubba Wallace leads off turn four, coming on to lap three. Three wide now. Alex Bowman up to second. How about Kyle Busch all the way up to second already? Oh, and a big spin. The 45 of Tyler Reddick gets spun off the front bumper of somebody. Didn't catch who that was, and Kevin Harvick also goes around in it. Take another look. Gets a little bit loose. Maybe some help from the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. possibly. And the four got spun by the playoff contender Corey LaJoy in the seven car take another look oh no they it looked like the 45 just got loose up off the corner maybe and uh, that caused him to go around and then the four slammed on the brakes in front of Corey LaJoy nothing that LaJoy could do to get around that um, but we will restart on lap number five right after this final replay just gets a little bit loose and uh, just a racing incident there it looks like amazingly not a lot of other cars were caught up in that. But the green flag will fly back in the air onto lap 5. Bubba Wallace quickly out to the lead. He's going to leave that bottom lane open, but it doesn't matter. The momentum's with the top. The top three single file. It's Wallace, Bush, and Alex Bowman. But now here comes Bowman's teammate. The 5 of Kyle Larson. 3 wide. And they spin. Big crash. Kyle Larson up into the air. And Kyle Larson's bad luck continues. The 10 of Eric Almarola will not advance in the playoffs. It looks like he's taken out in this. Blaney out. Take another look. It looks like the 19 got loose under the 5. And that's going to be dire there. Another playoff driver, the 2 of Austin Sindrick, caught up in that. He is in the round of 8, but not sure if he's going to be able to uh, maintain the points that he needs to get into the Final Four. And, you, I mean, Larson just got loose there. There was really nothing else to it. He got a tap from the 19, and everybody else goes around. What a shame for Eric Almirola in the 10 car. He was really confident about his run today. He started on pole, was running up there, got caught back in traffic, and just ends up getting taken out in that one. Nothing he could do. As uh, the 24, William Byron up on top there, you also see 
Almendinger, Gillen, and Balicki taken out in that. It's going to be three laps to go when they get back underway. Those are the eight cars involved as the green flag is back in the air. Bubba Wallace gets a bad start. He goes back through the middle. How about Michael McDowell up to the second spot? He tries to make a move on the leader, Kyle Busch. Nothing there. Kyle Busch leads out of turn number four. Here comes Alex Bowman to the inside now. Busch blocks Bowman. A huge run up top with Michael McDowell. Big push from Ty Dillon in the 42. Dillon looking to get into the top four. Michael McDowell looking to just get a trophy. Here comes Daniel Suarez to the inside. He's also looking to get into the championship four. Three wide for the lead into turns three and four for the final time. Here comes Justin Haley to the bottom. Side by side. Down the front stretch. Justin Haley will win at Chambersville. What a finish. And it all started the chaos of the race when Reddick just got loose up off of the corner, ended up spinning out in front of the field, ended up getting uh, the number four of Kevin Harvick involved in that one as well. No playoff drivers really involved in that one except for Corey LaJoy. And then the heartbreak of a wreck after that, the big one happens. On coming on to lap number six involves the pole sitter Eric Almirola and former playoff contender now former playoff contender Eric Almirola in the number 10 car gets taken out in that wreck such a disappointment after such a great qualifying effort for that number 10 car and uh, ends up taking out Bell, Blaney, Gilland, Almendinger and Josh Balicki as well and this is on to the final lap here. Michael McDowell with a lead ballsy move to the ins or to the inside by Ty Dillon. And he will advance the championship four. What a what a Cinderella story that is. And Justin Haley makes a move on his teammate for the win out of turn four. Luckily, his teammate will still advance the 99 of Suarez will advance to the championship four. And there's your finishing positions. Ty Dillon, his third. Uh, top two finish this season, his second in a row, uh, or excuse me, top three finish. Kyle Busch with a great run, his best finish of the season. Same for Denny Hamlin in fifth. Ross Chastain comes out of this race with a point lead. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets a second top ten of the year in just his second start. Michael McDowell still ends up finishing eighth, which is a good run for him. And here is your championship for Ross Chastain with 46 points. Ty Dillon in second with 40 points. Eric Jones, 39 points. And Daniel Suarez, 36. LaJoy, unfortunately, gets uh, shuffled out there. Grala didn't have a great run today. Eric Almirola taken out. And Austin Sindrick. Those are your four drivers that were eliminated uh, in today's race. But those are your championship four. The final race of the season will be Legosville Speedway.